Hey everybody, this is Steven with South Point Survival, and today I'm going to show you how to add a little bit of gear and maybe a little functionality to your walking stick or staff. Stay tuned, it's coming up next. Welcome back everybody. Now today I'm gonna to show you how to add a little bit of functionality and also carry some gear with you on your walking sticks. Now a lot of times you can purchase a walking stick or you can just harvest one straight from the environment itself uh, to help you with stability and other reasons. Now I'll have a full review on the Brazos walking stick uh, in another review, but right now I'm just gonna show you how I add the gear and the functionality to this. What we're going to do today is we're going to add a paracord grip and that grip will allow us to uh, keep a more secure purchase on our walking stick while we're hiking or walking around and also allows us to carry that extra cordage and some other accessories with us as well. Alright guys here is our Brazos walking stick and what you can see is I've already pulled out the uh, leather strap and the little tag that comes with it. And what I'm going to be doing is adding in some 550 paracord. Now this 550 paracord is made by Titan. This is their survivor cord. Now the survivor cord comes with a piece of uh, brass wire in here. It comes with a piece of waxed jute and also some monofilament fishing line. I don't know the test rating of that, but if I do find that in my research, I will notate that here in the video. Uh, what I've done is I've kind of pre-cut a 20 foot section of paracord and now we're going to begin to uh, braid that onto the handle, on, onto this walking stick and give us a nice comfortable handle and a, a very grip, a uh, very positive grip on, on our walking stick. So let's go ahead and begin uh, our braid. So here what I have is I found the center point of the 20 foot, so I got 10 foot on each side and I'm going to just loop it over the top and let's say this is a good spot to start my paracord and what I'm going to do is you're going to start just like you're tying a pair of shoes you're going to cross one over the other go over the top and pull through and get it to a good where you want to start your braid or start your handle and this looks like a good spot for me here and pull that tight now what I'm doing off camera is I'm just double checking my links and making sure that I'm good and centered up on both of them bear with me one second while I do that and I'm not spot on obviously but pretty close uh, i did add extra so i'm actually not 20 foot but i'm 20 foot and maybe six seven inches so i got plenty here so let's go ahead up make this tight one more time and the first thing we want to do is take our left side and you want to make a loop and you want to go right over the top of the walking stick and then you take your right side you want to go under or over the paracord and under the stick and we're going to come through this opening here pull that through and pull it tight so it doesn't look perfect right now there's a little gap but all this, as we start to do this over and over, this will all tighten up. All these gaps will fill in because we're going to keep pushing this up and making this really, really tight. We're going to repeat the process. Loop on the left. I'm going to go over that paracord, behind the stick, and through the loop. Pull it through. Now this is a little bit more difficult to do working around the camera, but it's still 
not that hard. Once you kind of get the rhythm of it, it's just you're repeating the process over and over. Over, over that, behind the stick, pull through. Now what you've noticed is this is starting to form somewhat of a line here and here as well. That's going to create like a spiral effect around your, your handle. So if you want, you can kind of twist it to make it easier for you. If you're doing this on your own, uh, like if you're holding this uh, walking stick in your lap or something, you can always twist the stick around. It makes this a little bit easier than it is for me right now doing this on behind the camera. We're just repeating the process over and over. So again, make a loop on the left, go over that cord behind the stick, pull it through the left side. Loop on the left, right side goes over the paracord behind the stick through the left side loop. You can twist this, push it up, make it tight. There are a lot of good benefits for having this. I mean, obviously you're carrying uh, extra paracord with you. If you ever have to make a shelter or you need some type of lashing for something. Uh, I like this specific paracord because it does come with fishing line, uh, which does help me in my area. I live in uh, the East Coast, the coastal South Carolina. So fishing is a big thing here. Uh, you also have that brass wire in there, good for making snare traps. Now I'm just rotating this around, trying to keep this on camera the best I can. We're just doing it over and over. I'm trying to make sure it stays really tight because we want this to be a really good grip for us. Okay guys, we're getting close to the end now as you can see. Basically, we repeated the process over and over. Now, one thing you want to do when you're getting uh, close to the end is you want to give everything a little twist. Twist it around and push it up. This makes everything very, very tight to the stick. Just kind of hold this and then twist the bottom around clockwise and push up on it. it makes everything in here very, very tight. We're going to finish out these last uh, few threads. As you can see, the cord is getting a lot shorter now. So again, we make that left, going over the top, behind the stick, and through. Uh, I run that back through there because I came out. The, the uh, paracord is getting very, very thin, so it's getting a little bit more difficult at this point. I want to close in all those gaps the best that I can. Try to make sure everything is cinched up since we are getting to the end of the line here. Pull it all through. And I technically could stop it right here. I just want to make sure I'm happy with everything. Everything is good and tight. Giving everything a little twist. 
it's hard to hold uh, all of this together at this point because it does want to spin on you got so much friction up here on this side and so every time I make a thread on this end it wants to slip on me now we got a lot of wind picking up sorry hopefully they don't drown out my video too bad and I think that's about as far as I'm gonna be able to go on that last thread there as you can see when I go to pull on that this the stick is wanting to turn on me so again we're going to twist it really cinch it down as best we can and this is where we're going to end up cutting and burning our ends off to secure it I got a little small pair of scissors one final pull on everything and this is something that's going to stay on my walking stick so I am doing this to secure it for myself and we just want to come back maybe a quarter of an inch and get a little cut right there now one thing I like to do is cut one side and leave the other I have a uh, lighter here now this does have the uh, wire in it I may have to trim that some more but I want to get this nice and hot that wire is becoming exposed now I want to get that paracord nice and hot and you use a flat edge to push down and as you can see that is very short I should have left that a little longer maybe Press that down and secure it. I'm going to pull this side and repeat the process over okay. here. a quarter of an inch or so I'm just using the metal here to fasten that down I wasn't real pleased with this side. It seemed like it didn't want to stick all the way, so I'm going to warm that back up and just give it a little press again. And that should be good. Now you can always really secure those ends down here if you want to put something around it. Um, a ranger band, uh, put a piece of ranger band or something around this that's pretty tight. Uh, I'd come up from the small side of the walking stick and you come up here and just secure that to kind of clean it up and make it look nice and neat. That ranger band will also provide you for a little piece of tinder as well. But that's essentially it. But there you go, that's your uh, new grip on the walking stick. All right, guys, there you have it. That is the uh, making of, or how to braid, I should say, the paracord handle onto a walking stick. Now, like, again, like I said, it doesn't have to be a store-bought uh, type walking stick. It could be something that you harvested yourself. Uh, those measurements may change. I just added 20 feet. It gives me pretty good grip. I, got, I do got pretty large size hands overall, and it gives me a few inches below, so that's 20 feet. If the stick diameter is larger, obviously this is not going to be quite as long because it has more to go around. But it does give me a way to carry um, a fire tender. It gives me a way to carry the snare wire and the monofilament fishing line. 
uh, with me at all times in case I, I need it for some reason. But there you can see the, all the different strands in it. And you can see there's the jute, the wax jute. There's a little brass wire right here. And then right there is the monofilament fishing line. I'll try to move my head so you can see that through the background. Fishing line, uh, wire, and there's the jute there. But yeah, it's pretty cool. It gives you a way to do it. Anybody's interested in the color of that, this is uh, snake skin. I hope you found this video to be informative. Maybe it gives you some ideas with uh, other things you want to try with your own gear. Uh, if you would, by all means, please subscribe to the channel. Please follow me on Instagram as well. Uh, I am pretty active on Instagram and it does lead to videos such as this. Until next time, be safe and I'll see you out there.